what's up everybody my name is Amshon Gosas welcome back to this tutorial I've talked about how to change your background and give it this adult art feel and which is this background you know just give it this little art feel you, you can check the link on top right now you can click it up and then check it out it's a pretty short and pretty beginner tutorial now i'm going to go into something a little bit more advanced just to save our time now i've taken out the background already this is a tutorial on the right way to oil paint So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer, the layer one. I'm in Photoshop CS6. Now oil paint works in CS6, so it makes it a whole lot easier. Then the next thing I want to do is go to adjustment, shadows, and then you see that all the shadows has gone low. What it does is just to take off the bring up the shadows and somehow flattens the image just in case you want to have so much control on the image. To add to add your highlights and mid-tones, it will be a lot easier. Now this is different. This is the before and this is the after. What I want to do next is this. I want to control J it again and then go to vivid light that makes it very sharp. And then go to other, go to high pass. Now, what it does is just to make it extra sharp and add so much grains and details into the picture. And besides, like I said in the former video, the reason why it's this sharp is because I, I got it from Twitter. It's actually a Twitter image and Twitter just does a nice job in preserving their picture quality with Ctrl E. I've merged and I've merged this as well. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take out the hair. I'll take out the eyebrow. I'll take out the lashes. Now, the reason is when, when I do that, it makes it easier for Photoshop to have a definite path and be like, okay, this is the hair. So I have to work on this like this. So... I'm going to fast forward if you don't have to use the pen tool you don't have to cut it out like this you can check out my previous video on how to use the pen tool you might want to learn it for a while you can use a quick selection to, to cut out the hair like this so i'm just going to fast forward a little bit and then i'll meet you in a jiffy Now after selecting any of them you can just press ctrl j to take it to a new layer go back to the same layer and then take out the eyebrow the eyelash and others and i'll meet you in the jiffy still Okay, here we are this is the hair if you control and click the thumbnail you see the hair this is the eyebrow and this is the eyelash now i selected the eyelash with the hair because it's very very difficult to select it individually so i just selected with the with the body i'll go to the hair i want to make it a lot sharper now because i'm taking it to oil paint but before that i want to make it a lot sharper i'll come here and then go to high pass remember vivid linear light or vivid light and then high pass then it's a lot sharper i don't want to make it too sharp she doesn't want to look like a barbie princess although she looks like one already now when you've done this the next thing you want to do from far you see it's very sharp it's it's even itching our eyes but then the next thing i want to do is save so i'm going to save it and i'll meet you in a jiffy there's some, something I, I didn't tell you about now come to the image size this image is 2000 in height and the width is 1000 now the resolution is 72 if you take this, the resolution i normally use is 300 but then it has to be in 72 because when you or a paint right you you need to have the smallest you don't need it to be very compact and high res in that way oil paint will not be able to work on it properly so you can just leave it at 72 or um, 96 so i'm just going to go to filter go to oil paint now i don't know any other software that does this i mean i was using photoshop cc 17 but it doesn't don't do oil paint as much as this so next thing i'm going to do is take up the cleanliness i want it to be a pretty nice wig okay it's looking i'll reduce the shine a little bit 
pick it up here so i see what i have sterilization i think this is nice you can as well zoom in to see what you've done you can take sterilization sterilization just makes it smooth and sleek and straight up then the cleanliness you can just play with these values to get that type you want but then um i like to bring up sterilization a little bit it just gives you this um artistic look and artistic feel now this will have so hard before this will have now you know it just gives you this little artistic feel let me let, let, let me work on the eyes so you know understand what i'm talking about i'll come here to oil paint still for the oil paint i don't want the cleanness to be too much these eyes are not realistic at all so i'll just take it down here a little bit and the sterilization i don't want the eyes to be too sharp but then i press ok now this will have before so have now if you go zoom into it this is artistic brush like feel it has given it you will not notice it until we are done we will not notice a lot about it until we are done with the whole image you know you just 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 walk around and be like i'm, I'm an artist you know so i'm just going to go to oil paint still to work on the eyebrow eyelash ladies like long eyelashes i don't know why but they like long eyelashes the pretty ones too everybody just likes long eyelashes i don't know so i think this is pretty decent i took down the cleanliness and the stylization i didn't take it too much so that it doesn't just blow out is the eyelash so that is what we have so we had before so we have now it's somewhat destructive it doesn't look as nice as before but then that's why we are that is why it's artistic but we are going to work on it and clean all the edges now this is a pretty decent tutorial on how to oil paint what to do before oil painting don't just go and oil paint and then make it look blurry don't oil paint the shirt i repeat don't oil paint the shirt it's, it's going to it's not going to give you a nice shirt okay for example i'm just going to quick quickly cut out this shirt and then show you what i mean i see some oil paint pictures like this some like this no it's not good don't do that always try to take out the shine a little bit down all the way down sometimes most times just if you're going to make add the shine it should just be like probably 0 0.5 or thereabouts but i like taking it down i like taking it really down and the cleanliness i like taking it up if i'm going to ever oil paint the shirt i'm just going to make sure it's very smooth and then it helps what i do a lot so but i think you should just smudge it manually and just take out all your pens because the shirt is pretty definite and it's a flat surface so you can actually smudge it i have a tutorial on how to smudge the right way to smudge and it's up you can as, as well just check it out and then you can learn how to smudge in the next video i'll be showing you how to add use colors just colors to make your picture and artwork already so this is Armstrong Gossas signing out. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow Armstrong Gossas on Twitter, on Instagram, and what have you. So this is Armstrong Gossas signing out.